Hi everyone. This is going to be a short tip on faithful color reproduction in Paraview. So before we jump in, I'm just going to say that I'm using Paraview 5.8 since the menus change a little bit from version to version, but this should in principle be applicable to earlier version as well. Uh, 5.8 is the most recent one, quite recently released. Okay, so I have a pretty simple sample data set here. And for now, if we look uh, here, we see that the coloring is basically set to solid color. And if we look at what color is chosen, we see that it is white. But when we look at our data set, we see that it's not white. It's actually sort of beige. So why is that? Well, the reason for that is that by default, in Paraview, your scene is illuminated by a predefined set of lights referred to as the light kit. And uh, we can access the properties of those lights. To do that, we go into view in the upper menu here, and we search for a light inspector. Here it is. Let's click on that. Here it pops up on the right. So what we see here is this light kit checkbox, and it's by default always on, unless you modified it yourself, of course. Um, and then we have four different lights here, so key, fill, back, and head, and all of them have some properties. So the warmth, intensity, elevation, and azimuth. azimuth. So basically these two are position, and this modifies the, well, you can think of uh, warmth, well, scaling from sort of pinkish to a bluish color tint, something like that. Actually, we can just illustrate this. So let's increase the warmth of the key color. Uh, this is getting orange first, and now it's pretty much red when it's on and then instead, if we go down, we will basically make the color blue without changing the color that we chose here as well. So here we are still choosing white, right? So as we can see, this light kit is actually really, really profoundly affecting the way the scene looks. And this can be a good thing because when you have a light setup, it can really help you visualize the 3D structure of your scene and things like that. Uh, but it's really not for getting a faithful color output. So what we can do is just click on that checkbox. There you go. And magically, now we have our data set with the correct color, which is white. Now, a particular situation when it's really important to have this off is when you are actually visualizing some sort of data. So let's choose something. So for instance, this alpha water doesn't matter. Now, imagine that you are visualizing this and you have chosen your favorite color scheme. So right now, the chosen color scheme is this one, this sort of blue to red, the standard Paraview one. And when you have the light kit off, then there is actually a real correspondence between the colors you have in the data and the colors of the color scheme. But what happens if we put the light kit on again? Well, you can imagine that the correspondence is no longer there, right? So if you're aiming to actually show the values of some sort of data set faithfully in correspondence to the chosen color scheme, then you pretty much have to have the light get off. And then the colors are faithful. Okay, that's what's pretty much in. Thank you for listening.